Hi everyone, welcome to Rios Recipes. I'm Jenny Rios, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make flan. Uh, this is by special request from one of my viewers by the name of Michelle who asked for an easy dessert. So here it is, here's flan. We're gonna use sugar, we're gonna use uh, sweetened condensed milk, we're going to use a can of evaporated milk. And this time I'm trying something new. Usually I don't use this media crema, but this time I am going to try it with media crema as well because I heard it makes the flan turn out even more creamy. We are also going to use six eggs. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is take one cup of sugar to the stove and begin to caramelize it for our topping. At our stove, we're going to use medium to medium low heat. You'll need to know your stove. And we're going to place our sugar in our pan. I used just a little under one cup. What you want to do is just spread your sugar out evenly. And we're going to let that begin to melt. Meanwhile, we'll turn on our oven to 350. While our sugar is beginning to melt, we're going to place our ingredients in our blender. I forgot to mention earlier, but we're going to add a little bit of vanilla, probably about a teaspoon. We will put the lid on and we will blend. You will see that our sugar is beginning to melt and what you want to do is you just want to continue to scoot the sugar, unmelted sugar, on top of the melted sugar. Some people do this by adding water, but anytime I've added water, it just does not turn out right. So I just continue to move my sugar over. Once you're at this point, you cannot leave your stove. This is a slow process that begins to happen quickly at the point that the sugar begins to melt. Now some people like a dark caramelized sugar topping. I like a light color. So you'll have to decide what you like. I don't like that bitter flavor from the when you darken it too much. Another thing to mention about when you're melting your sugar is if your sugar has any lumps in it, break them up before you turn on your pan. If you do not break them up, your melted sugar will not turn out right and it'll just cause you all kinds of trouble. We're getting a nice puddle of melted sugar. Don't try to go in and scrape and stir. Just continue allowing it to melt slowly. I have not found any way to make this part of the process go faster. Trust me when I say I've tried. It's kind of a slow but fast process. You can see over here the sugar is becoming much more liquid. You do need to be really careful. This gets really hot. At this point, it's not quite melted, but I've turned my heat to off. Because usually you can go the rest of the way with your pan off to get a nice golden caramel. We're now placing our melted sugar into the bottom of our pan that we will cook our flan in. You have to be very careful. This is very hot. What we're doing is just allowing it to spread over the bottom. We have covered the bottom of our pan with our caramelized sugar. 
And now we'll add our egg mixture. And we're ready to place this in the oven. So what we're going to do now is place our flan inside another larger pan. I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that sometimes I don't do this and everything has always turned out fine, but I can't promise you that it always will. What we're making right now is called a baño maria. I'm not sure how you say that in English, to be honest with you. But we're going to add hot water. We'll put this in the oven. We're going to come back and check it in about 50 minutes. Let's check our flan. And it is ready. I did add an extra two times of 10 minutes, so it actually took an hour and 10 minutes. We've removed the flan from our oven and now we're going to let it cool and then we will remove it and place it on a plate. Okay, we've allowed our flan to cool, I'm going to be honest, and more than 15 minutes went by, but it's it has cooled enough that we can now remove it from the pan. So you just use a knife to cut around the edge to make sure that the edge isn't stuck at all. And then, we're going to invert invert it onto our serving plate. I goofed a little and I didn't get it centered, but hey, <laughs> that's okay. Now we'll cover and refrigerate and until we're ready to serve, you want to refrigerate for at least two hours. Oh, well, we'll just place our piece of flan right on our serving plate. And I usually like to grab a little bit of and just kind of pour it on and there you have it easy flan